Hi, everyone. My name is Alexander Romeo, and I wanted to talk about something that I've never actually spoken before until now. But I was in a very verbally abusive, psychologically abusive relationship. And this individual would, he, he would do so many bad, horrible stuff to me. When we would go out to lunch, dinner, he would make me pay the bill. And then the one time uh, he made me give him $50 to pay for the rest of his car insurance because he claimed that he was running out of money and he didn't have any money with him. Um, he never wore his seatbelts while driving and everything. He believed in stupid shit, stupid conspiracy theories that were not true. Um, like how COVID is in the vaccines, which is not true because I'm, I'm vaccinated. He's not. And sometimes like he would like try to like, like look at my body and investigate my body to see if there's any like reddish marks on my body, like, you know, COVID spots on my body. And he had some st stuff on his body and and right down there and he um he blamed me and I had nothing to do with it. He said to me, "If there's something on me, I will I am going to be so pissed off." That's what he said to me. And and he, he and there were spots on his face. He blamed it on me. I had nothing to do with it. And he and then some people he told me that some people told him to stay away from vaccinated people because they're a disease and then they have COVID in them and um, and that he said that most people die from the vaccinations like I threw up twice I think three times in front of him and he thinks that it was all from the vaccine so not true and there were times where he said to me because I was vaccinated that I would have blocked your number a long time ago if I could and then sometimes you know we do go out to eat he would never let me order a Diet Coke um, because he thought that he would never let me drink it because he thought that Diet Coke would you know it literally makes people look gay which I thought is very ridiculous. He just makes up stuff that's not true. Um, he would body shame me, telling me, you know, I was fat, I was too big. And he's wrong because I have lost the weight because of my PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. and. Also, with that, he would also say nasty stuff about my polycystic ovarian syndrome, saying that I walked like a man, and I had, like, the body of a man, had male hormones, and it hurt my feelings when he said that. He just was no good, and he would always beg me for money. And then the last girl he was with before me, he brought her in bankruptcy because he's a gold digger and a beggar. And I would not in a million years would date that kind of person because I would be put in that situation and I'd be screwed for life. And also, he never wanted to go anywhere, never wanted to go on dates. He never wanted to do anything fun with me because he claimed that he was too busy to work. He was so busy, but he he didn't have a job. He didn't have a job. That's why I had to pay for dinners all the time. And made him give him $50 for car insurance, which my mom found out she was not happy. She thought that was unacceptable, and it was because he should pay for his own insurance. I should not have been giving him any money to 
pay for his insurance. Like, that was wrong of me to do that. And that was wrong for him to steal money from me. And I feel like a lot of damage has been done to me. And he wouldn't go to the movies with me. Like this past April, I went to see The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King for its 20th anniversary re-release, -re which was the extended version, which was four hours and 23 minutes long. And he refused to go with me saying that, oh, it's such a long movie. It's going to waste my whole entire day. Screw him. He hated everything. He hated movies. He hated music. He hated stuff I loved. And he was never supportive of me and nothing. And when I was doing It's a Wonderful Life at the Country Gate Playhouse in Belvedere last month, he, he would make me give him 25 to $30 for gas money for taking me there and home and even I had to waste some of my birthday money on him I feel like that a lot of damage was already done to me emotionally mentally I just feel like he was trying to make me go broke and trying to make my life a living hell and trying to, he was pre trying to like have me be the next girl he brings in bankruptcy, in debt, huge financial debt because a lot of people have told me what he did to the last girl and I said to myself, I'm not going to be that girl this time. I am not going to be the next girl he brings in financial ruin and yeah and then he never saw me in the show once last month not once claiming he was busy again he never had a job but um the final straw for me was when well we were gonna go to the hotel for Christmas and he claimed that he didn't have any money and that he was so busy and I'm like we don't do anything on Christmas Eve I want to do something like I want to do something on Christmas we never do anything and he just didn't care he didn't care at all and then this Thanksgiving two months ago he I asked him if he wanted to come to my aunt's house for Thanksgiving he's like Oh, I can't because my parents are going to get pissed off if I don't have dinner with them. I just think he was making that as an excuse. Like, using that as an excuse to, like, not seeing my family, not seeing my cousins, my uncle, my aunt, you know. All that for what? And he was scared to, like, go into Jersey because he thought it was Nazi Germany and that... They're a controlling state. Yeah. And then the one time after uh, he picked me up from rehearsal, we got pulled over by the police in Belvedere because he was driving with an unregistered vehicle. We were not wearing our seatbelts. And he gave us a warning if we did it again, we were going to get fined. And I learned my lesson. He never learned his lesson because he still, he still doesn't wear his seatbelts, even when driving. You know, a lot of people die in car crashes because they don't wear seatbelts. And he never wanted to get married. He never wanted to have kids. And uh, he would say like he would say nasty stuff about my appearance saying that belly shirts were for whores or purple 
purple hair is looks stupid on a girl. Well, guess what? I got my I had purple highlights not too long ago this past April. He hated it. I wore belly shirts right in front of him. He hated it. And the worst part of all, he called my um 16-year-old cousin at the time a whore because of all the belly shirts she was wearing. But he needs to understand this is today's generation like people wear whatever they want even if it's a belly shirt they can wear it but i just want to say to all the girls out there please be careful because please don't date a gold digger like the one i dated because that was a really traumatic experience for me and he never let me do anything fun. He just would make me work in the cold with him when it was cold out, hot when it was hot out. Uh, he would make me lift heavy objects with him, like a gun safe. I had to lift the gun safe in front of him into his house with him. It nearly killed me. And that's not a woman's job to lift heavy things. It's a man's job. And he knows better than that. But he was a loser. And a gold digger. I don't date losers and gold diggers. But I'm just glad that he's out of my life. Out of the picture. And I just hope it stays that way. I just want everyone to know, like, if you're in a this type of relationship like this verbally, psychologically, financially abusive relationship like this please just tell anyone because they'll understand but thank you for understanding my side of the story and I'll see you all later. Good night.